hello guys welcome to sword and v channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make a payment to irs so why am i making this video i'm making this video in a way so that it will show you guys how to make a payment to irs in case you owe irs sometimes it happens you file tax and irs will come back and tell you hey you owe them this amount and you know when you owe irs it's kind of like a headache it's stressful because the least mistake you do if you don't make any payment they will they will garnish your um your paycheck your property all, all that stuff and you don't want that to happen <clears throat> you don't want that to happen so for them to um know that at least you are making a progress at least make some payments when you get money you make a payment so like let's say the money that they send you the money that you owe is not that big it's not thousands like it's in the hundred like you owe like 300 500 600 and you have that money to pay it once you just put it in there but if you have thousands you owe thousands that's where you make a payment plan or if you have that kind of money you just pay it once and be free but always remember when you owe irs when you owe irs make sure have, always remember interest will be will be uh incurred they'll be taking you they'll be adding per penalty fee to it interest every month to it so make sure you sacrifice even if you have to sell uh, certain things that you don't need just go ahead sell it when you get the money just push it in there so without wasting my time i'll take you guys through how to make a payment so you just go to google but always remember if you owe irs mm, don't wait just go ahead make some upfront payments so you go to their website so we come here I said make a payment so this make a payment is a one-time payment it's a one-time payment that you you are doing so you click on it so you can make <clears throat> payment to your bank account or to a debit so if you want to make a debit always remember the debit comes with a fee a processing fee so here's the processing fee that um, if you click on this one you're going to if you send a debit you're going to pay they're going to charge you this amount for processing fee this one 1.96 percent that's the there's the minimum fee is this one is the, it all depends on the amount so is this are the processing fee. if you want to go through the debit you just go ahead but if you want to go through the bank account but today i'll be talking about the bank account so you go with the bank account and uh, that's free but that takes a little bit of time for the money to reflect into your account into your irs account so you can go and bank account says make payment or look up payment so if you want to look up your payment and see how much you owe this is uh where you click so make a payment this is a one-time payment so it says reason for payment reason for payment is tax returns or notice so you just click on the tax returns or notice and it said apply to payment to so it's on the notice it will tell you what type of um what type of <coughs> tax returns that you owe so if it is 1040 if it is healthcare you just click it so tax period so the year that you owe so is it 2019 2018 2017 so i just go with 2016 you know and you click yes continue please confirm so it, it takes you to the um, your payment information so it says payments in payment amount so in the <clears throat> so the amount that you want to pay so if you want to pay a hundred you put in a hundred if you want to pay 200 250 300 500 thousand it all depends so let's say you owe like 300 400 and you have that money you want to pay everything in full your irs 300 dollars and you have that money and you want to pay it in full just put in that 300 
and you pay it but if you don't have and you want to at least make some payment just put in some the money that you can afford so let's put let's go with 100 100 but if you have everything just push it in there so payment date if you, the money is available now just put in the date if it's the money will be available tomorrow and when the money will be available you just put in the 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 date to go to the account if the money will be available on 31st just put it there so i'll just use today's date so it's actually for your bank account so you put in your bank account and you put in your this is the routing number you put in the bank account So if it's a check-in, you click on check-in. If it's savings, you click on savings. And it says email confirm email confirmation notification. So if you don't want them to send you email confirmation when you pay, you just leave it alone. But if you want email confirmation, then you click on it, then it will be visible. Then you put in your email. So then when you are done, then you click on continue. So it says disclosure authorization. Please uh, read the full authorization agreement. So you read it. When you are done, then you agree. So it says uh, review and sign. If you make if you make made a mistake, you click on edit. So you just uh, go through it. All this, you just go through it and see if everything is okay. Your bank information. See if see if if everything is okay. If it's not. We just uh, click on the um, edit and uh, go and correct it so yes electronic signature so when you complete this electronic signature select submit below your payments will be submitted so you put in your first name your last name your social security or itin itin is your I think that's your employment your uh, your individual tax identification number yeah, that's a tax tax number when you have your W two or whatever. You just so if you social security you put it on your tax identification number, you put it over there. Then um then you click on submit. So if you are going with a debit, if you are paying with a debit, that's where you click on accept the debit authorization agreement but since you are not paying with a debit you just leave it alone and you so after you put in your name your first name last name and social and you click on submit because the, <coughs> you click on submit i don't want to put in my information over there and click on submit to make a whole lot of uh issues so when you click on submit then it is going to that's the final stage is going to submit your payment so that the money will be taken out uh, be taken out from your account on this day but it will take a while for them to for irs to process it so this is how you make payments through um irs so guys um thank you guys for watching this video and uh thank you for subscribing and um I hope to uh, catch you guys later in the next video. Thank you guys. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Share it to your friends. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. It may be of, of need to someone. So please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.